while ago and posted these stories asking if Facebook ads still works in 2020. And I'm genuinely surprised by the results because it is absolutely not true. This is speaking from my three years of experience working in the field and currently still see some positive results from some of the ads accounts that I am managing. The fact is, 80% of internet users use Facebook. That means there is a total of 1.9 billion of potential reach. Now, you don't have to trust me, but just trust the numbers. Facebook never stopped evolving or improving in their features, but why some of us think that this is the most powerful tool ever and some think that this is not working at all. So today, I'll be sharing with you four Facebook ad strategies that I have used and you can apply them immediately to see actual conversion. The first strategy is to run a video ad. Now, creative determines 50% of the effectiveness, so what makes one better than the other? Well, I would need to do another video just focusing on this topic. However, what I can assure you is that running a video ad will always outperform than a regular steel ad. And this is because of the extra tactics that you can apply afterwards. You see, of course there is poor executed videos as well. But the pros of running a video ad is that you can always retarget people based on the length they have watched your videos. Meaning to say, you can actually retarget them based on 5%, 10% or 50% of the length they have watched the ads. The benefits of running a retargeting ads like this is that this will not be the first time for your audience to see the ads, which it creates a sense of familiarity that naturally influences them to make the purchasing decisions. Besides that, you can also create a custom look alike audiences based on how long they have watched the videos, for example, custom audiences of 5% or 50%. And from there, you are actually expanding your targeting with an even more targeted audiences, which has the higher likelihood to engage with the videos for a longer period of time. And all of this is not possible to do it with a regular steel ads. Secondly, in most cases, videos always appeal to be more engaging with the audience and you can pack so much more information in that given context. A still image, on the other hand, has a 20% of word count limit, which oftentimes we will put most of the information at the ad copies or the captions, but with video ads, there is no word count limits that you have to be worried about. So this will allow you to have a lot more creative freedoms to deliver the message you want your audience to know. Thirdly, if you've been running Facebook ads for a while and always encounter that your ads has been rejected by Facebook, a video format on the other hand would be a better format for you to bypass all the restricted ads policy. Of course, I'm not trying to tell you to ignore all of the ads policies. We should always respect and try not to cross the line. Plus, I believe if your ad is always following all of the policies, it will actually have better ad delivery. But just in case if your teams are running out of creative juice or you really just wanted to try something different and more creative, by turning your ads into a video format, it's another alternative option that you can consider. Now you might be wondering, isn't it creating a video ad require a lot more resources or initial investments such as a production crew or a talent to begin with? Well, don't limit your creativity just yet. You can always opt to create an infographic videos or buying ready video stock from platforms such as Shutterstock or Vimeo stock as a great option to bring down a cost and still achieve the same if not better outcome. The key of running a successful video ad is based on how well you can deliver the message in the given context rather than what are the qualities or how much you have invested on the equipment. The second strategy is to identify the persona of your top spending customers. And this is a tip that I have used and proven to be success, which I don't see everyone is doing it just yet. Now in most business, oftentimes it is 20% of your customer base that is giving you 80% of the company total profit or return. Whether it makes more economical sense if you can target persona based on what has already proven to be work or converted in your business. By identifying the persona of the top spender in your business, you can now expand your targeting based on the interest of this persona rather than blindly hoping this ad set and wasting time testing if this is going to work. The truth is we don't know what we don't know. 
So from this list of persona, you can identify so much patterns, consumer behaviors, or what are the common interests and trends or more. And you can use this insight to craft your next ad copies that are appealing for the similar persona that is already proven to be work in your business. Success leaves clues, and so does the customers. I have done this once with the operation team to understand what are the common patterns of the top spender. And until today, this ad set that I've created based on the personal exercise is still one of the best performing ad set that I've ever created. So in most time, why outsourcing your Facebook ads management to an agency doesn't work is because they are not able to understand your customers and maybe you too doesn't know your customers as well. So everyone is focusing on expanding the database and feeding you with a list of numbers such as the reach and impressions rather than the conversion rate. As we all know, if you're an in-house marketer or if you are a business owner yourself, all you want is to collect quality leads, the leads that will actually convert. We should be focusing on expanding on the database that has the higher likelihood to convert based on the top spender persona and from there, hopefully the snowboard effect happen on growing more top spender in your business. So the third strategy is to create a Facebook automated live chat. We now live in an era where everyone wants instant gratification and so does your customers. So basically how this works is instead of creating an ad with a lead form or directing your customers to a landing page, you now switch the call to action become sending a message directly to your Facebook Messenger. If you have set up a very clear and informative role at your Facebook automated reply, it increases the conversions because it helps people to get a very clear understanding of your offering instantly. There is only so much you can tell in an ad. So for customers who is genuinely wanted to know more about your company or your service, what you wanted to do is to feed them supportive information immediately to create that urge of spending. But of course, with these strategies, you first have to make sure that you have crafted a very specific and good flow in your automated Facebook reply that answers most of the frequently asked questions. Besides that, by having an automated Facebook reply, you are now not operating your business 100% based on human labor to reply all of the inquiries. Now, don't get me wrong. Human interactions is the best in most cases. However, if you are not able to hire a person or a team to answer all of your inquiries 24-7, or your ad is doing so well that you have to hire a whole team dedicated just to answer the inquiries, set up a Facebook automated reply is a much more cost-effective and sustainable way to go. The key here for the strategies is to make sure that whatever leads that you got, you are keeping them warm by replying them immediately. Apply a lot of strategies to get leads and to be frank, that is actually not the hardest part. But the hardest part is often, how do you convert these leads and use this database to make sure that you've got your profit in return. The fourth and the final tips from me today is research, research and research, which is spying on what are your competitors is doing. By knowing what our competitors or the bigger players in your industry is doing, it can help you to create a valuable insight when it comes to creating or crafting your new ads. If you go to the Facebook profile of your competitors, you would see this page transparency section where Facebook now is allowing the public to know what are the ad is currently running by the company. From this section, you can know when this ad has been running and if it has been running for a long time, that means that this is a high performing ad because most likely, if this ad is not performing, the company would like to pull that off immediately or to stop the ads quickly. So if this has been running for a really long time from there, this can help you to identify what are the best performing headlines or creative and you can know what are the most effective combinations and use this insight to start crafting your next ad. Besides, you can also take their sales funnel as a reference and to see if it works in your business. And this will save you a lot of time in creating ads to do A-B testing, increase the performance and maximize your efforts. Of course, you don't want to just copy exactly of what others is doing, but rather just use this to get ideas and then try to produce your own unique content or think of what could work even better for your business. So I have covered four strategies, which is first, running a video ad rather than using a steel ad. Second, create a consumer persona based on the top spender of your company. Third, 
Use the Facebook automated reply feature so that all of your inquiries will get answered immediately. Lastly, do your research and know what are the best performing ads currently run by your competitors so that you can get insight or create a better ads for your company. So do comment down below if you have tried the strategies, which one works best for you. And if you have any better ideas, do let me know as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!